is a fellow member of Institute of Company Secretaries of India. He was past chairman NIRC of ICSI and also past secretary for Consumer Electronics and Appliances Manufacturing Association New Delhi. He also worked with Messrs Panasonic AVC Networks India Company Limited as a senior associate director in finance as finance and finance director and company secretary. He is a serial entrepreneur, a startup coach, and a mentor. He is associated with a lot of communities and groups to contribute in the startup system. He will be sharing his views on startups, the catalyst for growth in emerging India. Mr. Dirminder Seth, Mr. Anil Kapoor, Mr. Deepak Gora. After Deepak's uh, scintillating address, like it's playing after Virat Kohli. <laughs> and uh, I'm lucky that I'm in the middle order. So I'll try to do justice with uh, the time allotted to me was 15 minutes, but I'll try to cut it short so that we can catch up with the time. The topic uh, allotted to me is uh, startups. And I work in this area for the last three years. As of today, as we sit half an hour back, Startup India website said that we have 97,918 startups already registered. It's a very dynamic website. I think if you want to have knowledge about startup world, just visit that website and I think you'll be amazed to see how India and how digitalization of Indian government is progressing. We are proud to have already 110 unicorns in India. And uh, there was a discussion today morning that uh, by 2030, we are going to be third largest economy of the world. But let me tell you, we are already third largest startup ecosystem of the world. And that calls for a you know, big round of applause. Now, if we look at, uh, you know, what is startup? It's a company which is into the initial stage of the business. We have many young minds around us today. I, we saw a lot of uh, youngsters here. Every second youngster want to be a startup entrepreneur. And that is what we entrepreneurial cells in the various uh, institutions as well they are promoting startup and uh, up is the fifth one of the fifth largest uh, startup ecosystem i was participating in the uh, global investor summit in lucknow and we had uh, investors coming in from all over the world we met people from us from australia from Literally all the, even African countries were representing there and they are trying to look at India as a destination and there is a huge scope for the industry also to go and invest there. Now, if we look at uh, who are the founders and who are the people who invest in these startups, we, we see innovation everywhere. I, I uh, after hearing uh, Mr. Kapoor's talk on uh, digitization, I was yesterday only talking to a startup. They are into putting AI into the camera systems and they back the contract of Coal India. They are actually monitoring all the sites of Coal India. So everybody has a camera system, but uh, uh, the AI enabled camera system where you can actually map that if there is any uh, untoward activity or any activity which is uh, not according to their standards, it will give the system alarm to the system. So these kind of innovations are actually uh, creating a lot of uh, uh, opportunity, a lot of uh, money is coming through uh, venture capitalists in India and of course uh, uh, you know 
the legal structure also is very important so that is where i come in i'm a company secretary by profession so we we actually support startup ecosystem by guiding them in this area let's look at the top 20 startups cred we all know what is cred upgrade knowledge knowledge startups grow they are also trying to uh, you know support the ecosystem of growth zepto who heard about 10 minutes delivery when it came we all thought it is a fluke it may die down but actually they created uh, ripples in the market and uh, we see a lot of others also falling in line who are doing uh, instant deliveries skyroot aerospace our own private aerospace company and they are launching satellites they are going to launch actually uh, it's already in the plan and these two guys are from isro and they they started their own uh, startup in 2018 and they are already ready for the launch we have a uh, mbhi wala i think you all heard about him uh, this guy is uh, creating a lot of noise and uh, 100 plus outlets are already there in a very short span of time spinning if you go to gurgaon sona road you see a huge building where proudly it is written spinning and what they are doing they are helping you sell your old cars and suddenly they have become too big uh, and uh, they have come in the top 20 list good glam group you must have heard about mama earth and all these uh, uh, startups which have come up and this group has actually changed the way uh, beauty uh, aids are uh, you know bought in the market <laughs> we have uh, growth school educational startup blue smart you see all these smart ev taxis uh, moving around they are all uh, you know uh, and they have moved to bangalore also recently it's our own gurgaon based startup we have share chat we have ditto insurance list is many rapido who thought about uh, you know uh, the hailing service on a motorbike and they are doing very well Pop plus bliss club so these are the few examples uh, uh, which are there now what are the pros and cons basically one they are offering more opportunities to learn there is an increased responsibility flexibility workplace space benefits are there and innovation is encouraged but there is a risk of failure every uh, startup you know has a failure ratio and uh, uh, out of 10 startups you may invest in you may see that two only will succeed but they will give you that kind of 10x or 15x uh, which you can easily recover from uh, the other uh, investments so they have to raise capital there's a huge stress and of course uh, competitive business environment now let us look at the what is the role of our startups in the economic growth one of of course we are encouraging overall economic development we are promoting exports through startups uh, a huge uh, uh, you know export uh, contribution is there from the startup world growth in gdp in five uh, you know years time startups are going to contribute at least five percent of the gdp of india so uh, that's the kind of projection being uh, talked about and uh, of course improve standard of living because they are solving some problem or the other no? so uh, startup world is all about how you are solving the problem and you are actually innovating distributing of uh, wealth and creation of wealth and of course production of jobs now uh, there, there is a huge huge employment being generated by startups and of course uh, uh, they are creating uh, technology advancement and uh, big solutions there and of course uh, uh, you know 
the requirement of product and services are being met through the startup ecosystem. Now, uh, e-learning has got a big boost through the startup world. Uh, you can, uh, uh, you know, see so many uh, e-learning startups, uh, which have, uh, in, in fact, the most valued startup in India is from e-learning sector. We also have a lot of e-commerce uh, startups, which play a crucial role in providing essential supplies. COVID, we have seen, uh, you know, a lot of uh, all the all the everything was being run through these e-commerce startups, which were uh, giving us support. Uh, we were all comfortable in our homes, and these guys were delivering our medicines, our uh, uh, essentials on time. And uh, after COVID-19, um, there was a huge startup on medic. Uh, you know, uh, there was stress on medical personnel. And we saw a lot of healthcare startups. So healthcare is a big area, uh, and there are actually, uh, if you see, uh, almost 30% uh, of Indians are going to be, uh, as Deepak Ji mentioned, we are a young country, but 30% are going to be uh, more than 60 years also. So they are they are huge, uh, you know. Uh, opportunities for health tech uh, startups and uh, they are making many examples in that area. Technology, robotics, AI, EV sector, fintech, agriculture startups and recently I think Government of India has uh, uh, you know come up with a lot of SOPs for uh, agri startups as well. So this is what I just wanted to talk about. I will leave the floor open for any questions. Uh, uh, there was a question about uh, uh, metaverse. Uh, there is a new startup which is uh, Yologram. What they do is that you can feel the clothing which uh, you know you uh, are uh, online. You can actually feel it on yourself and you can test it. And uh, you can even make your own uh, uh, you know uh, kind of a. Uh, or on uh, clown or you know you can make your own avatar avatar, avatar is the right word so uh, uh, you know on your avatar you can check uh, for yourself how you look like in those clothes so so this is you know just one example i'm giving metaverse is also having huge opportunity so uh, let us see that uh, our startups uh, succeed and uh, we are all uh, investors as well as uh, industrialists here. So uh, let us uh, uh, support the startup ecosystem and uh, that is my uh, request to you. I am open to questions. Yeah. Thank you so much Mr. Rajiv. I have a uh, query, I mean like just out of curiosity. With the collapse of three major banks in US, uh, again funding and investors have been again affected a lot and it has directly affected the tech startups. How do you think it has affected India? See, uh, there is a funding winter, of course. Uh, in India, we were having a lot of money coming in from US. We had investors from Europe as well. But uh, uh, if you ask me honestly, uh, as Deepak ji mentioned, more Indians have an indomitable spirit. We have a spirit to actually take over. So our own seed capital firms, our own VCs have really taken over. And I saw today morning only uh, somebody from the VC world, uh, he has very openly mentioned on LinkedIn that we are open, we have done two such big investments in the last 15 days and they are saying openly our turnaround time is 15 to 20 days. And that is how they are actually fueling money into the uh, Indian uh, startup ecosystem. So uh, this is going to pass. Of course, there is a slowdown uh, because of this, but uh, it's not going to, uh, you know, uh, stop the money flow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Please. I'm basically an entrepreneur, and I'm running different ventures. Now, uh, I mean, it's good to hear about startups and the ecosystem and a lot of things. But I still feel that we have miles to go before we really develop a really congenial environment for industry. Even as a small-time businessman, I still want to remain small because I always look, where is the good manpower? 
where if whenever we start anything you know one of thing comes out there the other thing as an entrepreneur i'm not able to focus on business i mean i'm not saying it's a complaint but i think when a country needs to grow and anything needs to grow some criticism should also be there so a little bit i believe the system should be so well integrated that one stop i should be able to go to a shop that go to an area say that please get me cleared of gst income tax sales tax whatever kind of thing mm -hmm. and end of the story next slide easier for the business side to think and i think um, also availability of manpower the manpower is really taking a big beating because the big multinationals have put money to spend whereas the small companies don't have so resource crunch also is there in spite of people saying we don't have jobs so i now i i appreciate what you are saying but let me tell you faceless assessments and uh, uh, the as i think uh, uh, mr kapoor's presentation mentioned that uh, uh, the uh, tax assessment is being done uh, in one day uh, you know so uh, but let me tell you we of course small entrepreneurs have to struggle a bit but there are huge battery of uh, professionals who are actually there to help you so have that open mind to take the help of uh, professionals working hand in hand with you there are services like shared cfo services there are services like shared uh, uh, commercial guy who can actually come and join you as a investor or a co founder as well uh, you know so so you have to actually keep that open mind to uh, expand there's a huge potential i'm proud indian i'm proud of india and let me tell you uh, this is how we are going to become uh, you know uh, number one economy of the world and 2030 uh, as uh, we said that uh, you know these uh, and uh, the colleges are preparing skilled manpower yeah uh, thank you so much both the speakers will be distinguished speakers are available in the lunch time so anybody who wants to interact and interact uh, at that time thank Since you we have a thank short so time thank i you. would like to conclude the session thank you information information about bank schemes no information about government schemes how to prepare a report i was not knowing and uh, and on the top of that friends and relatives were saying why you are leaving such a good job and moreover there were no mentors like uh, mr rajiv bajaj uh, to guide uh, the young entrepreneur of those the, those times uh, so to conclude i will just uh, have uh, some bullets uh, points uh, i will uh, share with all of you uh, number one that india is working closely with countries like germany uh, for ai based startups and research India's chairmanship for uh, partnership as gl global partnership in AI for innovation and designing framework for emerging technology. Government initiative on startup India, startup India seed fund and e-business portal. There is allotment of around uh, 285 rupees crore in this uh, current uh, budget year, and benefit of carry forward to lo losses of. Uh, Uh, to ten uh, uh, ten years for the startups, there are seventy seven thousand DEP IIT registered start startup as of today. As Mr. Rajiv said, hundred ten unicorns in India with total valuation of US dollar three forty billion, and their funding on shelves from industry corporates and individuals. To conclude, I will say I will add that uh, AI is a multi trillion will be a multi trillion industry. and with india consolidating its position as the uh, world's third largest uh, startup ecosystem i see this is the time or i would say auspicious time for india for uh, growth and transformation to become a world class educated economy thank you i again thank uh, both the distinguished speakers for their valuable uh, knowledge and audience for uh, this session thank you we join you alok sir in thanking the distinguished panelists wonderful deliberations and as a token of a profound gratitude for you all sirs for being with us today and sharing your valuable insights with us it would be our honor to present you with a token of gratitude we request c anil agrawal ji to kindly first we have a huge round of applause we had very insightful session 
I request C. A. Gulchan Kumar sir, Gulchan Thapar sir.